What's the matter? What what stuff? I have too much stuff on my table. Oh, I know. I noticed that this morning. You do have <laughs> a lot of stuff up there. Good morning, friends. I will be right back. I have to go grab a quick something. I'll be right back. How is everybody doing? Get everything set up. Oh, what? See, should I move this over? A little bit. Like that. I have Pittsburgh breakfast tea today. I decided I was going to have a cup of that this morning. Let's see if this will work. Um, let's see. Unab says hi. Your buddy says I'm here. Golden um, says good morning. Gail says good morning. Wacky watercolor Wednesday. How are you two doing? How is Donna, everybody? I'm taking your advice and painting a red panda. Yay! Oh, oh boy. Gail, I would love to see it. I hope you show me. I would love to see that. Um, let's see. Melody says hey. Hello. Um, we have highs all across the board. Good mornings. Hellos. Liska says good morning and happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. It is. Let's see. Wolf, um, Wolfiard? Fear, Wolfiard? Says I got here so early. I finally got <laughs> here for a live. A little jelly hat. Good mornings. We have lots of good mornings. Hellos. Hello. Sorry, um, just getting the... Three rats in a can. Hello, good morning. Ironically, I'm in art class. Good Hope morning. Hope I didn't butcher that. It, but it literally was not hello. So. Hello. Um, hello, but why did you stream before school? Gosh, sorry. <laughs> hey, from Finland. I have hello. a friend in Finland. Just saying. Um, oh my God, I'm also in art class. Hi, you guys are funny. <laughs> it's 11 p.m. here, but everyone says good morning, so good morning. Good afternoon, good morning, and good night. How's that? Good morning from Utah. Oh, that's Letter Lady Z. Good morning. I missed these, but at least I'm here today. That's E. Abby says hi from the UK. Hello. We have a Steph nerd who says morning. And Bethany's here. Can you guys see this okay? Should I lower it a little bit? Um, Let me try lowering it just a okay. touch. Okay, it looks okay. Come on. Hang on, guys. We're having some technical difficulties. Difficult, or something difficult. I just thought I would make it a little easier to see. Yeah. So if I rotate it this way, that's good. Yeah, that works. Yeah. You guys can get a little closer. Yeah, there you go. We can see it a little better there. All right. Yeah. Now you gotta kiss me. Love you. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Are you gonna do something with it? Well, I'm just gonna watch. I'm gonna enjoy it and watch. How's that? I'm not gonna ask any questions about what he's gonna do. Um, Scott, what's your motto in life? A motto in life? Mm -hmm. um, yes. If I had a motto, I guess it would be be kind. Mm. Wow, good night in Cambodia. Oh, Sam just says, I didn't do well in my exam today, so this is a great pick-me-up. I'm uh, sorry. For what it's worth. Exams um, are stupid. No, exam, well, yes, but no. Um... It, there's a, there'll always be another exam. It'll, it's okay. <laughs> oh, God, that's going to make will. them feel better. As long as you're in school. <laughs> There'll be another one. No, you've got a chance to make it up. It's not a big deal. <laughs> <God. sighs> Hello from Germany. Love from India. Hello from Lithuania. Hello from France. Brandon just got Copic markers. You guys are funny. All right. So, um, I found a photo and I reached out to the photographer um, to ask if I had, could have permission. I mean, if if they don't give me permission, I just won't sell the painting, of course. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but we'll paint it anyway. Yeah, I'm allowed to paint it, but it's a really pretty paint uh, photo right here. And I wanted, and I thought I'd you know do something kind of hair journal-y um, with Scott it. Scott was feeling like he needed some flowy but I, hair. I, I'm not really fond of the what are those those kind of flowers? Oh, they're, that's a weed. Weed, okay. Mm -hmm. So I might need a different kind of flower. 
yeah. to to look up. And what... happy March first, and happy Women's History Month. Yes. To all of our friends. Um, the Daily Size says, good morning, Mr. and Mrs. Saba. How are you this beautiful morning? Doing very well, thank you. We are. We are doing very well. Oh, I've got to pull up. Um, okay, Any you were asking me for tips on watercolor, and I'm going to tell you to look in the Art Hacks playlist. If you have something specific, hit me with a question, and I'll ask Scott. Um, good morning from Scotland. That's Paige. Hello from North Carolina. Good afternoon from Belgium. Hi from Pakistan. Can't wait to see beautiful art. Hi from Qatar. Oh, hi from the seashells. I want to go there. It looks beautiful. Good grief. I have art school interviews this Saturday, says Jay Bird. Good luck. Oh, fun. I'm not doing my homework. Instead, watching you guys. Okay, don't get in trouble. I thought you guys were going to draw Wednesday because of the whole uh, thing. Yeah. You're my favorite artist. Thanks for reading my comment. Hi from California. That's Brandon. Oh, hello. Hey, Lily checks here. Hello, Scott and Donna. I had watercolor class yesterday. It was fun. A lot of fun. We used isopropyl alcohol and salt to make some texture and really cool patterns. Oh, that's wonderful. Hey, that's neato. Oh, Ask Us says, I'm stuck home with a migraine, so I finally caught one of your live streams. Love from Canada. I am so sorry. I feel your pain, and I am so sorry. Uh, Eugene asks, what pencil do I need to use for watercolor? Um, there's no need to, but uh, what I prefer is uh, like a 3H or 4H pencil. A harder pencil is easier to erase. If you are going to do um, inking, if you're not going to do inking, then I would go with maybe something a little bit more like a 2B. Okay. Thanks to your videos, I've been trying to sketch more and not get caught up in making everything perfect. That's Mega Magic Goat. Oh, fantastic. That is wonderful. Um, oh my God, I never believed I would make it to a live stream. Well, here you are. Um, I am doing well. Thank you for asking, Purple. I appreciate that. You sketch so fast. He actually does. Kind of annoying, isn't it? Perhaps a bright rose in place of the dandelion, says Barcode Jake. That's a great suggestion. Like the whole Beauty and the Beast kind of thing. Um, do you guys like Malaysia, Indonesia, and the Philippines? We've never been. I'm sure we'd love it. And we've never been. I don't um, like that. How about a calla lily? I am being corrected. It is a dandelion. Um, um, so Lots of hair. Yep. You knew it was coming this morning from the, the can way you guys, the Can you guys situated. see this? So this, this, these curves are fine. This one is too flat. It kind of runs parallel with the uh, the border. Mm -hmm. So it just, it doesn't fit. It just, it looks out of place. So I just thought I'd tell you why I didn't like that. Why does it look out of place? Um, it, because it was, it, it kind of, it's like um, as if the hair just kind of suddenly went like this. Oh, okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it okay. just it's like suddenly it's now attracted to the border okay. in some way. And so you, you you don't want it to feel like So you, you're trying word, to find a, that flow. There was a word you used for that with the border before. It's not breaking the border, but there was another word you used. I can't remember what it was. Tangents? Tangents. Maybe that was it. I did a video on tangents. I can go off on a tangent. <laughs> you are a tangent. I am. I am. I literally am a tangent. That's a great way to put me. That's, if everybody wants to describe me, Donna is a tangent. Um, do you, um, Scott likes traditional pencils. So um, I am going to, the other thing that you have to do when you're doing hair like this, I've found, is you have to make sure that the volume of hair mm -hmm. goes from a lot to a little so I can't have it go like a lot of hair to do a little bit of hair and then back to a lot of hair again that's just impossible so I have to make sure that I keep the volume consistent throughout so like right here I've got to make sure that there's a little more volume we know you I mean it could be it could be twisting which is kind of fun like when hair is wrapping around itself we know that you love the volume with the hair.
You're one of the artists that inspired me to draw in my own style and try new things. So thank you for inspiring me to draw so much. I love your videos so much. That's Quinn. Oh, I love that, Quinn. Thank you. Muted Studio says, hi, Scott. Happy first day of March. Hello. Happy first day of March. Um, Canary, we have not been to New Zealand. And good morning to you, too. Or good evening. That hair is so beautiful. Kind of reminds me of smoke from a candle or something. Yeah, yeah. It does flow like that, doesn't it? What do you prefer sketching? Hair. I like hair. Um, I, I think the reason why I like doing hair. Okay, so again, right here, I added that line, immediately regretted it. Um, so suddenly the hair just kind of just bulges out. It doesn't make any sense. There's no flow to it. It's either going to flow from this way down to this way and back up again, but it doesn't want to just kind of bow out like that. So mm -hmm. I've just kind of got to follow that flow, but I was trying to give it more volume, just a little more volume. <laughs> Pluvio Faust says, hi, Adana, you don't get noticed very often, so here I am, you're awesome, thank you. <laughs> you're so cute. Um, that's very sweet. I know, Nikki says, it cannot be March already, I think I'm being pranked, you and me both. I don't know how it's March. It's crazy. Okay, for all of you that are asking about um, Scott's art supplies, and there's a lot of questions for that today. If you go to the website, there are two lists. One is Scott's art supplies, everything he uses, and the other list is art supplies he's tried, and I've just realized that the mic is not close to me today. <laughs> is that better? Let's try this. That might be better. Um, we are live Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 9 a.m. Central Time. And Saren Placid, there is a video in the Art Hacks playlist that talks about drawing faces. It gives you all sorts of parts of the faces. I think I want to see if I can make her body, her dress, mm -hmm. maybe just flowing in the direction of the hair as well. So even fun. if it was kind of doing a little more like that. Everyone, everyone thinks you woke up and chose chaos today. How so? Because you're just, you're all over the map. It's kind of funny. I think um, we were talking the other day, and I think Scott wants to do things that are a little more creative for him at yeah, this point. So, you're not feeling like drawing specific people yeah, anymore. Yeah, I'll just like, um, Yeah. And yes, he is going to do Ink Monsters again with uh, Kim Diaz. Yeah, hopefully I'll do a little better than last time. Boy, that frustrating. Yeah, I got to tell you, you kind of stunk last time. You got to you gotta up your uh, up your imagination game, baby. That was bad. So, um, was it Friday? I was doing these little guys. And, and, they're, and they're, they, they came out okay. You no, know, wasn't it, was fun. it Monday? Hmm? Didn't you do those? Oh, Monday? you're right. Monday. Today is Wednesday, it's Wednesday, right? Yeah. Sorry, I thought today yeah. was Monday. Um, yesterday just felt like a, a weekend to me. I know. Um, so, and and I like to, but I'm kind of getting a little tired of just doing portraits from photographs. And I, I was looking at the um, hair journal paintings that I had done, and and I just, I guess, I kind of missed it. And so I thought, well, let me go back and, and, and do that. There's, there's a lot of, there was a lot of creativity to do this. And, and the other thing to remember to, for me to remember at least is, you know, these were all done in 90 minutes. Um, this will be done in 90 minutes. This is not like doing, uh, something that takes me a week or two like this, where it's a lot of planning and experimenting mm -hmm. and just, you know, you work on it for a few hours and you go and do something else and you keep coming back to it. Um, these are very quick, but they're at least a little more creative and I'm not just copying a, a photo. Person. I'm sitting yeah. here thinking about how I want the mm -hmm. hair to move and the composition and whatnot. I'm still working just from a general photo because I don't have time to uh, do a lot of research and, and, and be creative, but it's at least a step away from just copying a photo. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm, I'm going to at least try to do this month. I'll still maybe do Music Mondays and still, you know, whatever. And I still want to kind of play around. I haven't done markers in a bit. I might want to go back and do that and, and do other things. But um, I just kind of missed, I missed this. 
Yeah, you're allowed to be want to be creative. That's totally cool. Um, let's see. I'm so obsessed with your artwork. It's because of you that I've gotten back into art. That's Savannah. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm wondering if I should do a circle here. Um, guys, there's always a cup of tea in my hand if that's what you're asking. Um, let's see. What is your most proud accomplishment? Oh, um, probably doing Spider-Man. Have you done any Quentin Tarantino characters? No, never was a fan of him or his or his movies. Um, how do you choose the right background for your art? Ha! Mm. He doesn't. He changes it twenty six times yeah, I, every live. If you guys. watch, if you watch, <laughs> I will usually change my. I will change uh, change them a lot. Mm -hmm. but when I do something like this, I'll usually just grab a stencil. Aww. Well, I, like I said, I'm, I was thinking of if I should add some sort of border or something to it. Um, Andrea says, wow, what is that circle? Oh, th I did a video on this mm -hmm. um, like like a week or so ago. But yeah, this it's is really cool. Yeah, isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. So you can you can draw a circle and then mm -hmm. draw another circle and then draw another circle. But this is kind of cool. This finds the center point, which is really nice. So like this would be the center right there. Yeah, it's pretty neat. -o. Yeah, but it's really expensive. So I don't know if I would recommend it. Okay. So this is kind of cool. So many questions. All the iris. What's the best artwork you've done in your opinion? I think the Animal Crackers movie poster is one of my favorites. Um, we do have a P.O. box and it's listed on our website. Um, any suggestions for an art student trying to do art outside of schoolwork? Uh, journal. Draw the world around you. Mm -hmm. And take it with you everywhere. Yeah. Um, James Bond ring sorcery. You guys are so funny. What some things you would refuse to draw? Um, anything, anything hateful, racist, something like that. There you go. Oh, Stray Dog says, I didn't feel like drawing, but when I saw you draw, I started to feel like trying. And Marguerite from British oh. Columbia is here. Hello, Marguerite from British Columbia. Oh, I got to figure out the, the flower. So did we come up with the flower? Um, some people said rose. We have calla lily. There were a lot of other suggestions, but um, I think a rose would be pretty. You could do a carnation. You could do a tulip. You could do... Um, Scott, you make drawing look so easy. It's scary. Hi, Donna. I know he does sometimes, I doesn't promise he? you it's not easy. Yeah. I'm um, worried. I'm terrified of everything. Uh, let's see. Calla lily? How do you even spell calla lily? Calla lilies are the, your mother's favorite flower. Okay, that doesn't help me spell it. C-A-L-L-A -L -L -A, and then lily. L-I-L-L-Y. Good lord. How do you spell calla lily? It's your mother's favorite flower. I, okay, I know, that, that's did, very that really helpful. didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. All right. Um, tulip would be pretty too, but I think if somebody's holding it, it seems like it would be a rose to me. Or, or Pranav says a daisy. That would be pretty. I'm already got a cow lily pulled up. So well, your mom, see. if, hi mom, if you're out there watching, because occasionally she joins our lives, your son's going to draw your favorite flower. Mums are really pretty poofy and floofy. Oh my God. Speaking of poofy and floofy. Guess what I'm going to get in the mail in the, this at the end of this week? Guess what's going to come in the mail? What? Guess what's going to come in the mail? What? <laughs> Squishmallows is sending me a red panda. Oh, that's great. And it's coming in the mail this week. She emailed me. I can't even contain my excitement. So there will be an unboxing. I will be wearing the red panda onesie. And we will be taking a trip to the zoo at some point to show May Lee my actual red panda Squishmallow. So there you go. Um, what do you have to say about digital painting sketch up something on the iPad um, I think it's wonderful um, what about a mix of flowers I think the way her hand is positioned it's like one flower seems yeah, appropriate she's kind of holding yeah. one flower. a sunflower oh forget me nots are pretty Scott say something to new artists um, hello new artists I hope you have a wonderful day <laughs> And draw everything every draw day. Draw everything every day. This is my first time watching you on a live. 
The joy is real. Squish is life. I swear. Aren't they like the best? Oh my God. Draw a dude with a big thick beard. Um, uh, did that? Mm-hmm. Here you go. Yep. Um, a doom. Okay. I also um, have the, the biking too. DHU is Sadie says, hello, Scott. Hey, Donna. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm not. My mother threw all my paints away and I can't paint anymore. Any tips? Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, so first of all, why did she throw your paints away? Were you... Yeah, context. We need context for this because we're parents. So that's my, my mom first is question. the worst. Exactly. Um, so before I go slamming your mom, were you not doing your work? Are you failing your classes? Are you... Was there a deal there or did she just not like the fact that you were painting? So context, please. And, and regardless, remember, this is only temporary. Mm -hmm. You can always just keep a sketchbook. Yep. Um, you can always paint later. Mm -hmm. I literally took 10 years off and, and then picked up painting. Um, so it, you know, whatever it is, this is just a temporary. It's like a timeout. Mm -hmm. um, don't, don't, it's not the end of the world, I promise you. Yeah. We were switching houses and the house is white. Okay, that gives me no context. What is what is that? Oh, wait, so you were moving and she just threw everything out. Maybe she thought you weren't using it anymore? I can't say that I'm really fond of this. Really? The flower or the yeah. painting? Yeah, no, the flower. Oh, yeah, I, you're not a lily kind of guy. I mean, I hate to say it. I think you should have done something like a rose or a tulip would have been pretty, or a daisy. Hi, pain in the tushy. Hold on, I gotta let the puppy outside because she's staring at me. Like, mom, can you please let me out? Because, you know, I don't get to go outside enough, ever. No, I'm abusive. Never let her out. Poor mom. Okay, what do we got over here? Have you ever drawn Tim Burton characters? Uh, yeah, I did Jack Skellington. I've done Edward Scissorhands. Um, Let's see. Oh, a clover. That would be pretty, like a, a, a four-leaf clover. Nixie says, why a flower? Give her a sword. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Nixia. Oh, my God. Have you ever done art based off of a song? No. We've got a lot of people today. That's their first time coming on a live hello, with us. Hello, hello. I'm Welcome sorry. I'm all trying of to you. figure out what kind of flower. I'm not really feeling a rose either. Okay, what's the next flower? A uh, daisy or a tulip. Not a daisy Ridley. No, a daisy like a flower. Yeah, daisy's kind of boring. Okay. Sunflower. Tulip. Hold on, so see. Tulips are pretty. My classmates say my art is bad, and I think it is, and now I'm discouraged, and I don't want to draw. Well, Shazia, first of all, don't listen to your classmates. Yeah, don't listen to your classmates. That's just That's, mean. Yeah, kids are mean. Don't listen to mean people. No. Mean people don't deserve your attention. Mm -mm. Get a notebook, get a piece of paper, start a journal, draw for yourself. Don't draw for anybody else. Mm. A nice Irish four-leaf clover, of course, to go along with your Irish tea, honey. Uh, Tracy's home with a sick kiddo. Aww. I don't think an orchid would work well with this one. Mm, hydrangea. Let's see. Protea. Chame camellias. Oh, camellias might be pretty. A crocus might be pretty. Hi, Scott. Love from India. Hello. Carnations are underrated. Lizabetta, carnations are my favorite flower, and I totally agree with you. Mmm. What about the glowy flower from Tangled? A bunch of wildflowers, a sunflower. Charlie says hi, a hibiscus flower. Oh. Teddy bear sunflowers are cool, maybe that. Rhododendron. Oh, I started painting because of you. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm an adult, I can buy my own squishmallows. I don't have a lot of them. I bought some Christmas ones like inadvertently and just fell in love with them. And then, All right, I think I could use the, the what is this, a tulip? Okay. It's a tulip, honey. Do you have any tips for keeping up with a sketchbook or journal? I have a really bad habit of buying sketchbooks and then doing one and then never using it again. That's Muted so, Studios. So I would say have one that is your 
um, everyday journal where you're gonna just you're gonna sketch random stuff like what I'm doing with the draw everything every day kind of thing do that and then have one that is a theme uh, it could be Harry Potter characters it could be um, you know a uh, hair journal like I was doing the hair journal just you know hair things like that so pick a theme um, I, I know that like doing something like a Harry Potter is really easy or Star Wars or Lord of the Rings because you know the characters are already there you just gotta find today I'm doing Sirius Black today I'm doing uh, you know uh, who's uh, Hermione no I was thinking uh, the Weasley mom oh Molly Molly Weasley you know uh, et cetera et cetera mom's so, rock by the way yeah she's one of my favorites yeah but anyways that's what that's what I that's what I would say pick a pick a theme what pencil are you using right now? It doesn't look like a Faber-Castell. It is not. It is a. It, uh, it came in this like cool box set, and so I don't think. It, but it's called Royal Graphite pencil. It's got a nice feel to it. The the Faber-Castell is really light. I've had. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had to sharpen it, but um, you know, it's it's this one has some nice texture to it, and so I kind of like drawing with it a little better. I need help. I have a sketchbook filled with incomplete drawings now it's becoming a habit have any tips um i have tons of sketchbooks with incomplete drawings um here i will um, but but again i would say do a um honey give me that dude. if you guys could see the mess that is this I office so right now things. he's got so, stuff piled so, on the desk here's the thing and and, and yeah today's tangent <laughs> oh, day God. but so I have this sketchbook. <laughs> this is from 2017. Um, this was before I really was doing um, anything uh, with watercolors, mm -hmm. you know. But I would. This is like random stuff. I was just trying to draw different stuff every day. Mm -hmm. and draw I, everything every day. Draw everything every day. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and then I just didn't finish them. And then I didn't like this. And then I did this. And then this is just kind of. Uh, and then this is just this. Uh, and then that's it you know it's it's it, it's not beautiful it's not you know this uh and then i'll have other sketchbooks this is my harry potter journal mm -hmm. so i did this for inktober where i did a different one every day and i was trying to do it a little bit i started off trying to do a little bit more kind of caricature -ish, -ish, yeah and then i was like uh maybe not and then so i kind of switched back and then i went a little more caricature and then maybe not and a little more caricature a little not and so I just kind of kept going yeah. back and forth. And some of them were a little mm -hmm. out there, and some of them were pretty good. Like, this is really caricaturish. But so this was, and then um, I have like little sketchbooks like this. This is uh, November 2021. I was just sketching whatever was in front of me. Mm -hmm. And then I did some like Encanto characters, and then some. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Scott started drawing when he was about six or seven. I've tried knitting and crochet. Scott has not. Um... Yeah. So I, I'm actually going to be putting these, all of these that you're seeing, i am actually decided I'm going to sell. You have done many projects and filled many journals. What was your favorite journal slash challenge? I love the hair journal. Yeah, he will forever love the hair journal. I don't think yeah. you'll ever sell that one. I think you love that no, one too much. No, no, no. I don't yeah. think I will. But I, I'm. Um, but anyways, like I said, so I'm, I'm gonna get all these scanned in, and I, I think these have been sitting on, on my um, bookshelf, and I'm thinking, why am I sitting on these? Mm -hmm. I should, I should, I should let people mm -hmm. have access to them. So I'm, I'm gonna sell them. Hey, we've got a Sarah Animations, and she says, "Hello, how are you all doing?" Hello. We are great today. Thanks for asking. We hope you're good too. All right, here we go. Let's um, start inking. Well, hey, I don't recommend stealing money from your parents to buy a sketchbook because then you're going to get in trouble. Um, who's your favorite KISS member? Well, it was always Ace Freely just because of the cool look. Um, but now that I'm older, I think I like Paul Stanley. I've learned to be more carefree with my drawings. It doesn't have to be perfect or aesthetic. I find I've been able to flow more and more and overall enjoy the process. A warm hello from Germany. 
Um, I've been planning to pick up painting with oils, but I don't know how to work with it. So we have no idea how to work with oils, but Bethany Primrose is our resident oil expert. And I will direct you kindly to her. And am I going live on Friday on this channel? Yes. Yes. There you, you go. You can't go live on yours. You don't have any followers. That's right. I don't have any followers. Um, oh, crap. The, uh, People idea. really loved all of those, by the way. Oh, okay. Thanks. I stopped buying art supplies to finish the ones I have. That's Zozo art. I feel you. I stopped buying journals. I, I have to write in all the ones I have before I buy more. I actually sold a few. Um, let's see. Um, who inspired you to do art? Oh, a lot of people, but probably my mom and my uncle who were artists. Um, I've drawn every day for the past week because of you and I couldn't be happier with it. Thank you for the inspiration. Oh, That's fantastic. Cheyenne. fantastic. Do you ever struggle when drawing machinery? Yeah, yeah. I, look, I struggle That's when drawing literally anything. Um, nothing comes easy to me and I struggle on every single piece of art that I make. Um, Apollo says, you make so much good art, Scott. I can't believe that in one video you called yourself the worst artist ever. I did. I, uh, you know, again, I, well, thank you, but I, I can't say that I like most of my art and I struggle so much with it. You're very critical. And well, you know, yourself. I, again, I mean, I'm looking at it going, all I'm doing is I'm just copying a photo and I need to do something a little bit more creative. Mm -hmm. And I just, yeah, I, I, most artists, they will spend weeks, if not months on a, on a single painting. I'm doing Bethany. one in 90 minutes because I'm creating content for, for YouTube and TikTok. And so I feel like my art suffers from that because I'm not focused, but I've never had the time, you know, or the inclination to, to make larger paintings. I've done it a few times and I, and I've liked the ones that I've done, but it's, it's just one of those things where I, I think I feel like I am less of an artist because of that. Um, you've also never done this much art. No. Nixie says we are about to have a lot of amazing art hit the store then. That is correct. Yes. She, Bethany says I'll send them my way. I'll get them in the store ASAP. Let's see. Um, there are, um, Blind Strike, there are several videos in the Art Hacks playlist on drawing hair. Um, gosh, we have so many new friends here today, babe, that are just joining us for the first time in a stream. Welcome, everybody. Yeah. This is exciting. All these new people. Um, do you guys have a tip for hatching, cross hatching? I can't seem to nail it properly. Um, I've never really been great at cross hatching. Um, not really my thing, but um, I've found that the best thing you can do is find an artist who does cross hatching really well and then just copy the, the shapes and copy the lines. Mm-hmm. Would you consider this drawing a full painting? Um, when it's done, it will be. Yeah, I guess so. Um, I think, hold on, let me see. Well, you're putting paint on it, right? Yeah, yeah. Then it's a painting, right? Or a mixed media. Gosh, artist. I just ruined that. I should not have added that extra. Gosh, <laughs> my hands are the worst. You're having a morning, huh? <laughs> what sketchbook <laughs> brand are you using? The colors don't bleed through the paper. Oh, uh, be creative. Mm -hmm. But the ones that you just saw were uh, Canson mm -hmm. XL. You used Canson for ever. Just so everybody knows, Scott used the Canson XL um, watercolor notebooks forever until he came across the be creative ones. Yeah. And, so, and, and for the record, this paper right here is Canson. It is indeed. Is it 100% cotton paper? No. Okay. No, this is the cheap stuff. Um, what do you think of tattooing? Um, I, th I think it's nice on other people. Um, I, I, I could never commit to a single work of art on myself. 
Oh, Sarah's been really sick, but she's doing better. I'm glad you're doing better. That's good to hear. Um, what's your favorite medium? I think this one, watercolor and ink. Thoughts on ACDC? I like ACDC. Def Leppard's better. <laughs> Hi from the Philippines, currently a college art student. We're tackling watercolors this semester. Any tips on blending? My strokes tend to look streaky, by the way. Hope you guys are having a nice day. That's Rafaela. Uh, welcome. Um, for me, I try to not blend. That's just my personal thing. I don't blend, but mm -mm. if you're going to blend... You layer. The, yeah, I layer. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to blend, keep the water wet. Mm -hmm. Or keep the paint wet, sorry. Mm -hmm. Water's always wet. Oh, you guys are cute. They're They're like subbed to me. You're funny. Looking forward to Donna's life. You guys are funny. I hope I do it justice on Friday. I am, uh, I am not. Uh, I'm just hoping for a paint spill. You know what? Ink spill. Sorry. Ink spill. Thank you very much. And and now now I'm gonna be so nervous about yep. that. I'm not gonna bring ink to the table. That's what we're gonna do. Um. Oh, sorry, my comment got lost, but I was suggesting a movie called Loving Vincent. It's a stop motion moving portrait movie. Yeah, oh. yeah, that was the one that our friend Steve uh, was a producer on. Really? Yeah. Blick says, and Blick is here this morning. Hey, Blick. Good morning, Blick. Seeing fragments and abandoned drawings in a sketchbook are natural and authentic. Yeah. Nice example for beginners. We think new artists often feel pressure to make a masterpiece on each page. Yeah. Holy yeah. cow. Amen. Jeez. You know what? It's funny that you say that because we say that all the time. Scott says that all the time. You're never gonna, like, there are days when I pick up my journal and I'll just, because I don't draw, so I write. But there are days I don't want to write paragraphs and I just write a list. Yeah. It's not always the most beautiful thing. It's not always, you know, a masterpiece. It just is what it is. Yeah. But you're, but you're, you're doing it. And that's the, the doing is the important part. Scott, remember you are a dragon hoarding the piles of art. <laughs> I um, have so much art. Okay. So, um, row it. Cold press and hot press paper. There is a video on that. Is that in the Art Hacks playlist? Yep. Okay. Check the Art Hacks playlist. Um, let's see. Um, good afternoon, Scott and Don. I have a question for me. You mentioned you loved baking. What is your most favorite thing to bake? Oh, scones. Hands down, scones. Because they go so well with tea. I have this great recipe for scones with jam, which, oh, they're so good. Anyway, um, but yeah, scones are my favorite thing. I, I, I can't stop looking at this horrid, horrid hand. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Um, oh, Joey is homesick. Joey's um, Tracy's little one. I'm sorry, Joey. <laughs> homesick watching. Tips on art block. There is a video on art block. There is. Um, at what age were you diagnosed with autism? 53. Last summer. No, um, last uh, spring. Oh, that was summer. Okay. Mm. I recently bought zebra brush pens and Windsor and Newton watercolor paints because of your recommendations. Thanks a bunch. That's oh, Lucas. wonderful. If you ever felt like you wanted to draw something, but you're... Ugh, I hate it when it jumps like that. Hold on. I'm going to find your comment. I'm sorry. Um... um Okay, I'll find it. I'm sorry. I, you're, the whole, my comment thing just jumped. Um, I was told that your strokes don't have to be perfect, but I keep trying to make it perfect. I was told once that my stiff strokes spoil my artwork. Do you have any tips? Yeah, you're, you're just going to have to learn to let it go. Um, you, you, you have to know that uh, it's the imperfections, not that hand. That hand is just bad. Um, but the rest of it, the imperfections are what makes it mm -hmm. art. It what yeah. what makes it human, um, and and you just got to learn to embrace it, except for bad hands. Uh, do you go by any nicknames? No, this is not a voiceover. We're live. No, uh, I don't have any nicknames. Yeah, you do. I call okay. you honey. I call you babe. I call you pain in my butt. I call you lots of things. Um, let's see. 
Yeah, Scott does not like hands and feet. Are you never afraid to make a mistake while inking? Oh my no, gosh. I'm, I'm I'm always afraid to, yeah. but I'm not terrified to. You know, I I know that it's going to happen and you just prepare for it. So, but you know, it is what it is. It's it's yeah. um the the And thing he's is, doing it live. So, talk yeah. about nerves there. But the thing is is that I I I know that I can I can fix it with gouache. I can fix it uh, if I needed to, but um, no, it, it is always. Do you know making art is kind of like um, watching a movie for me. Um, it's a little interactive, but it's kind of a choose your own adventure. So I think I'm going to do this. Okay, that turned out good. Okay, I'm going to try this. All right, that turned. But I don't know what the outcome is going to be. I'm just kind of guiding the whole process going, let's try this. Let's see if this will, will I hate yeah. this or will I not? Yeah. Um, do you name your paintings? I don't. He does not. Bethany does, which is really cool. And some artists do, and I guess some artists don't. Yeah. Not only doing it live, but processing and answering questions at the same time. That's incredibly impressive. Oh, thank you. Um, there is a tutorial on noses in the Art Hacks playlist. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to blow through some questions because there we have 423 of you. And um, there's a lot of questions. Um, let's see. Scott's favorite food is a stew called Sherva. It's an Assyrian um, dish, but he also likes pizza. Do you use oil? He doesn't use oil paints. Um, he doesn't paint miniatures. I don't know how people do that. We have a friend who does that, and he's amazing at it, and he's got this giant magnifying glass. I'm just too blind to do that. I would could never, but I think it's amazing. Um, he has white watercolor. Do you have black watercolor? White and black watercolor are really not very useful. No, so. you do not need, this person is a new artist. You don't need all the expensive art supplies when you're new, a paper no. and a pencil. Yeah, all you need is paper and pencil. Mm -hmm, that's it. Just learn to draw. Mm -hmm. The rest of it you can, you can mm -hmm. get to later. And if you have drawn for a while and you wanna try watercolor out, Try the grabby set that we have on our the website there that we Scott put together. We did a collaboration with them and it's $25 with Scott's code and you get paper and a pencil and a paintbrush and paints and just try. That way you're not investing like a hundred dollars in paints, you know? Just the paint. Yeah. And then another hundred in paper or whatever. Um, Scott hates drawing hands the most. It's so adorable that they asked what my favorite tea was and all the mods put in Donna loves black tea, but it has to be strong. Oh, that's <laughs> so cute. cute. You guys know me so well. It's so cute. Um, I love you guys. Um, Steph, I've always wanted to try brown butter cookies. Oh, you have to tell me how they come out. Send me the smell of vision. Um, let's see. Yes, you have played D&D. &D. Do you have a favorite bird? Not particularly. I do like the predator birds, uh, you mm -hmm. know, like owls and hawks. And we whatnot. have had a hawk in our backyard for the last week. Did, you, did I tell you it was flying around yesterday? No. Yeah, that same hawk I think that we saw down below. Beautiful birds. I don't let Arwen go out without being watched. She'd make a good... Uh, Meal. Yeah, she would. She's nice and chunky. <laughs> Um, Zodiac got accepted into art school. Hey, congratulations. Um, how do you I add more realism to your drawings? I know I see her. I have to get something to deal with her. How do you add more realism to your drawings? Um, I, I would say find good photo reference and copy it. You know, um, stay away from outlines, uh, good shading, things like that. Okay. Um, also talk about um, what's the difference between when you layer your watercolors and when you blend your watercolors? What's the difference between layering and blending? Uh, wet on wet or wet on dry. That's the difference. So, um, For people like me, that means nothing. Explain, please. <laughs> I think I'll have a 
sip of tea in the nice quiet that I'll have. Okay. So, yeah, watercolor, most watercolor artists that I know do a wet on wet technique which means they put more paint down while the water, while the, the, the paper is wet. And so when you do, it kind of spreads to wherever the, there's water. And I don't like that. Um, so what I like is I like to do a layer. So like there's a layer of, this is a layer of yellow, Windsor orange actually. And then I added another layer of Windsor orange. And then I added uh, rose matter, which is my pink. And then there's another one. And so you're seeing me, kind of create this this kind of graphic uh, design by doing it. It's almost like paper cutouts. And that, that's that's what I like to do. Okay. We're either going to find a bone buried somewhere in the house or she's going to eat it. <laughs> 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 okay. Do you have a tip to keep watercolors from running into places it shouldn't? Good question. Yes. Dry the paper before you add more watercolor. Um. Uh, the watercolor is going to go where the water is. Have you ever met any celebrities you have drawn? Um, yeah, I mean, I got to meet Sylvester Stallone, um, Emily Blunt, Danny DeVito, Ian McKellen, and um, I got them to sign sign my art, which was really yeah, nice. We're very cool. Um. I like um, Photograph. That's one of my favorite songs. And I sound really great when I'm singing it by myself in the car <laughs> with it up really loud. Definitely <laughs> by yourself. Oh, always by myself. I never, I can't even have Arwen in the, I realized at one point I was listening to music and I was like, I really should make sure I keep the volume down because yeah. she, you know, and I, I don't ever play it really loud. But you know, sometimes you turn on the car and it sort of blares at you, you know? And, um, but I always have to think about her. So when she's not in the car with me, I'm like, I crank it up and I sing really loud. <laughs> I do. And just full disclosure, she's always with me. So there you go. My art teacher says I, in every lesson to do values and match values, blah, blah, do you use values? Okay, well, that's um. nice. I'm sure I do. Uh, I mean, values, from what I remember, values are just, you know, shades. Um, and and so, you know, again, I mean, this this is the hair is a darker value than the skin right here. Um, you know, this particular painting doesn't have a lot of value uh, changes. I don't know if I have. You know, I need that to do. These these all seem to be the background's a lighter value and she's in a darker value. Um, so that's you use values to tell a story. You use it to to, to draw the eye from one thing to another. Mm -hmm. It's it's helpful. I love that one. The the elf. I love oh, that yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Apparently I don't use values that much, at least not that well. Um, I do not draw with Scott. But I write in my journal, and we actually have a lot of fun when we travel because I write in my journal while he paints. Yeah. We really enjoy doing that together. It's fun. Um, do you have any favorite tea or infusion to go with the scones? Um, Berries um, Irish tea is a great one. I also have a couple of uh, proprietary blends that I buy from like just like little tea shops that are like really, really good that go very nicely with scones. Um, Harrods has a great black tea, strong breakfast tea. I mean, it's got to be strong enough to stand a spoon up in it, you know? Yeah. Um, let's see. What is your favorite art supply? Um, I think I like my Be Creative paper, my sketchbook. Mm -hmm. I do love my watercolors, the Windsor and Newton watercolors. Mm -hmm. You love your zebra brush pen too. Yeah. 
Um, I think all of them at this point that you have in the kit are your favorites. Yeah. That's yeah. why you take them with you everywhere. Um, Blick says, artists we know who did animation internships did drawings like they were doing push-ups in boot camp. Wow. <laughs> They drew at the zoo, at the mall, at the park, fast in numerous drawings. That's 100% yeah. accurate because I remember um, Tony and Tim were saying that they would go when they were doing, um, they got to go, um, these two of our friends who- When they were doing what, the Lion King? Yep. They went to Africa. Yeah. And they drew animals and that's yeah. exactly 100% correct. You draw a million things all at the same time. Yeah. And they and you've got to get it down and you've got to know what you're doing. It's like boom, 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 you know. Um, we do. We have a dog. Her name is Arwen. Do you like the Star Wars sequels? Um, I think they were okay. <laughs> do you have any other hobbies? We are asking him to get a yeah, hobby. Other than video games, no. He's he's working on it. I'm working on it. Mm -hmm. He needs something to do. We We've been working, we realized recently that we've been working 24-7 for the last, I don't know how many years. And so we've decided that we're taking some time off for ourselves. So just like some afternoons or some mornings and, and a Sunday, we're take, taking that off. And so um, Scott's trying to figure out what he'd like to do. Um... We never get to draw in my art classes. We're literally painting pine cones right now. Like on the pine cones? Why? Hmm. Mm. Do you watch TV or listen to music when drawing or painting or just sit in silence? I feel like I need more going on. Oh, God. He could never sit in silence. Yeah, I, I, mm -mm. I, I don't like the silence. No, mm -hmm. I, I definitely listen to music. Nope. When I was doing larger paintings, I would do uh, audiobooks. Mm-hmm. You like those a lot. Yeah. Um, uh, Raman Deep says, when I paint my drawings without ink or brush pen, using only a pencil for the outline, it looks messy using watercolor or watercolors meant to be used with ink. Um, it looks messy when they when they didn't ink when they it looks messy using watercolor. So they said, when I paint my drawings without ink, or brush pen using only pencil for the outline, it looks messy using watercolors. Or are watercolors meant to be used with ink? No, no, no. There's a ton of wonderful artists who don't use ink and they just use watercolors. Mm -hmm. um, but they use their... Uh, I, I don't like it because it lacks definition. And um, here, let me hit stop on this. Oh, you were talking about playing the new Hogwarts game, weren't you? About trying that? Uh, yeah. So last week I tried doing just some quick ones with no, with just pencils and no inks, and and they they just don't have the same pop as the ones with ink, you know. And well, let's rephrase this to you. They to don't me. have the same pop. Yeah. Some people do these beautiful, very light, very wispy watercolors, mm -hmm. and that's what they like. I, I like very defined shapes. Mm -hmm. I like to, you know, to, so it, that's just a preference. If you don't like it, then then yes, you can add ink. But if you if you don't, then you can it's all just personal. yeah. You um, I started to add a little bit more um, Haynes Gray to get a little bit more of the darks. You're you're it's that values that we were talking about trying to find what the the value. You get the whitest whites. You got the darkest darks. You don't have that. Here, you have the whites, but you don't have those darks. And so you'd have to build up more values if you're going to do it without inks. Um, All right. Have you ever tried to paint in a style like Chibi? Uh, no. No. Love your paintings. What would you recommend to help come up with ideas if you don't live near any fancy buildings? Oh, if you want to draw buildings? Mm hmm um google yeah i mean they've got google mm -hmm. you can google places mm -hmm. yep um any cheap art supplies you would recommend pencil and paper mm -hmm. gosh honey how high did you fill this what the water is just spilling everywhere oh i'm sorry no, it's okay it's okay do you need more paper towels no no it's fine okay god sorry about that no it's it actually 
either it all spilled out or it wasn't that high, but... I didn't think I filled it that high. I tried to fill it, like, give you about half an inch to an inch from the top so it doesn't spill. Yeah, it's just for some reason it was just all... I think because you're really rubbing with the eraser today and typically you don't do that. Do you play Stardew Valley? I do not. Would you try woodworking? Um, maybe one day. Um, favorite video game? Right now, Zelda Breath of the Wild, waiting for the new one. Yep. Um, let's see. What type of paper are you using? This is Canson's XL. It's a fairly cheap paper, not my favorite, but um, someone sent me a bunch of it years ago. I have like a whole bunch of like 50 sheets of it. Yeah. And so I thought, let yeah. me at least see if I can um, do some quick paintings with it. Sarah says, do you plan on selling more stickers or copies of your art? I love stickers. It's an addiction, I believe. I agree with you 110%. I love stickers. Yeah, I, I, I've got to do some stickers. I just have mm -hmm. to find what to do. And we're also uh, toying with a new um, print-on-demand uh, option. Um, have you ever played Terraria? No, I have not. Yes, Mr. Sava, we are painting on the pine cones. Okay. Okay. Oh, do you watch The Mandalorian Season 3 just dropped today? Oh, honey, we have something new to watch. I, I, I don't think I even watched Season 2, did I? Yeah, you did. We watched Season 2 together. I don't think we did. I think we did. I watched Season 2 with you. Okay. Um, I wonder if Scott would appreciate Escape Rooms. No. Me either. Yeah, because, I mean, not for anything, mm -hmm. but... Um... Busting through walls is usually probably my first thought is, is yeah. I can, you know, I can yeah. brute force. Blick says we need stickers for our Trapper Keeper. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Blick. I need stickers. Oh, my God. I just got two sketchbooks and I have to cover them. Ugh. Well, I still, you know, we still have these. We do indeed. The, uh, the hair journal ones. Mm -hmm. Yep. And those are on our crowd made. <clears throat> there's a link there but you haven't made any new ones and you were going to but you haven't i because i've been just doing stuff like like this mm -hmm. and i can't really make stickers of elton john and, and i know you know yeah so that that's been my problem and that's why i'm saying i, I kind of yeah. wanted to start creating some more original stuff all right um okay we have some friends that have to go to sleep so let me blow I... let me blow through some more um <clears throat> busting through a wall should come with a prize no joke um all right who is your favorite artist oh i don't have one particular mm -hmm. artist but i mean i love drew struzan jc Decker, alphonse muka john busima mm -hmm. um okay um scott likes watercolors over markers but the markers he's been trying recently he likes he likes to work in smaller sizes he's never played minecraft Harriet is his favorite thing to draw next to me because he loves Blow dryer. Me. Have you tried the manga art style? Um, I did uh, a little bit back in college. There was an artist, Masume Shiro, who did... Um, uh, I'm going to be a lawyer, hobby. but art is one of my number one favorite things in the world, so I'll keep it as my number one favorite hobby. That would be fantastic, because I would think being a lawyer would be a little bit stressful. What a great um, opposite for, for that, to have art in your life. I think that's wonderful. Um, Scott used to play hockey till he hurt his back and he can't play anymore. Um, I don't think this is inspired by Wednesday Adams in any way. Is no, it? No. Um, there are so many um videos in the Art Hacks playlist that will help you with watercolor. Blow dryer. <laughs> oh my 
God. Here's the question of the day. Are you ready for this one? Yeah. Was Donna popular in high school? God. <laughs> the answer to your question is no. This all happened post high school. No. Mm-mm, not even close. Oh my God. And don't even ask me about middle school. That was terrible. Um, Scott's done a lot of realism. You can see it in his art, but he likes to do it stylized. You guys are sweet. They can't wait for a Friday. Um, what kind of gouache do you recommend, honey? I've I've only used a couple different ones, and I'm, my favorite is my favorite and my go-to is always Windsor and Newton. So I'm going to throw this out to Blick because I know Blick is in the chat. Since we have so many people here that are um, both artists and beginners, Blick, can you recommend a really, really good gouache that you would recommend for beginners and a really good gouache that you would recommend for seasoned artists? Blow dryer. Anshika says, an auspicious festival of Holly is coming the 8th of March in India. It's a festival of colors. I've heard of that. Heaven for an artist. Maybe you try something related to that. Oh, absolutely. That sounds wonderful. Boy, that sounds... I bet you would love that. Except for the crowds. Except for the crowds. That's correct. And the noises. And the smells. (laughs) You're so funny. You are funny. You do have issues with smells. Okay, they want you to try woodwork, excuse me, woodworking. Blow dryer. Um, our, um, Bethany and Steph are correct. It, the blow drying speeds up the process. All right. I am going to just quickly do. Yeah. So, uh, again, what I'm doing is, um, this is what I was saying about, uh, wet on dry. So you see that I, I did a layer and then I dried it and then I did another layer and then I dried it. If I was to do. Let's say I was going to do some yellow here. You guys see that okay? And then I was to go in with pink. Ooh, that hand. Yeah, right? Oh, God. I just looked at it close up. I I have two different windows now. You see how it it just starts to just spread all over the place? Wherever that yellow is, it's going to reach. That's wet on wet. And a lot of artists do that, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's a great technique. It's just... Not really my thing. I watched somebody one time spray the paper um, that they were going to paint on. Yeah. And then they sprayed their paints and then they dipped the paint in. And when they put the paint on the paper, it, it did. Oh, it yeah. went out, but they but they made it look like flowers. Yeah. So they dabbed the paint down and then they drew, they took a, another like a pencil or a pen or something and they drew the, the green stems to the flowers. Yeah. It was a really interesting technique. Um, are you using photo reference? Yes. Yeah, I showed it at the beginning, but here it is. Neither one of us play an instrument. We've tried. Um, our favorite cake flavor is chocolate. That is for both of us because that's the only flavor that exists in our home. Our boys like chocolate too. Was it hard to get the facial proportions right when you were first starting to draw? Oh, absolutely. Um, did you try Procreate or was it Clip Studio Paint on the iPad? Um, I couldn't try Procreate because my iPad isn't right. um, new enough. That's right. I bought one of those pencils. And it wouldn't and, work with it. And it wouldn't work. Um, 
Oh, Aww. darn. You're cute. Okay, the creeps says, "What in life gives you the most agita?" <laughs> uh, <laughs> Come on, my wife. <laughs> that would be my husband. Oh, um, you should try black wing pencils. I think you have tried black wings, haven't you? I don't think so. I had a black wing pencil. I used it all. It was great. Um, can you do more art with paint markers? How is Himmy gouache? Me gouache is okay. Um, I, I thought it was a, a, a good deal. Mm -hmm. Middle school looks good on no one. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. So true. What is your favorite art shop? Uh, Blick. Blick. Who, by the way, is has in the chat and says, um, you trick artist squash is great for beginners and professionals. Not the least expensive, but high quality and big tubes for good value. Well, that's good. Good to We'll know. have to try them. We will indeed. Um, Stray Dog, what, what, I don't understand. Whenever I ink and then erase, it looks something. How can I stop this? It looks something. Does it smear? What are you, you missed a word there or something. Um, did one of us get bullied and how did you deal with it? Are you kidding? People still try to bully us on social media. <laughs> we just roll our yeah. eyes and go, wow, that person's a in, loser. In, in junior high, yeah. In, in elementary school, I got bullied. Mm -hmm. um, high school, I didn't get bullied. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it's just stupid. It's stupid. Blow dryer. <laughs> Um, they want to know how the, the uh, watercolor doesn't smear because you're blow drying it. Oh, it's just the, the amount of water that you put in it. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think I'm learning just on a completely side note, like that bullying thing, the comment kind of made my head chew on it a little bit. Um, I don't think there's any time in your life where you're not going to have people that will say something against you. And it's just... You, it's like water on the back of a duck. You just got to let it roll off and do your own thing. Um, let's see. Uh, what paper are you drawing on? And is it cotton paper, honey? It is not cotton paper. It is very cheap. Uh, um, Hanson. Hanson XL paper. Mm -hmm. Just wondering if you're using any switch or board for controlling the audio would be amazing for muting the... No, I don't have anything like that, um, which is why we screen blow dryer. We actually just upgraded our software um, a couple weeks we ago. We actually are using a switch. Where? The thing that the software that we're using. It has so a thing? Yeah. You can can I mute it? Where? If you Ooh, hold on a off, second, guys. Click off the audio right there. Which one? This yeah, one? Yeah, that one. That's no, right. that's right. my microphone though. So uh -huh. I would click okay, off you. Okay, click off that one. Okay. All right, we're gonna try All it. All right, we're gonna try it. Hold on. So can you still hear me? But then you don't hear. Okay. All right, I put the audio back on. Okay, so how did that sound? Did it mute it? Did that mute the uh, the the blow dryer? Let us know, because now I need to know that I can do that, which would be kind of cool. Um. Oh, glitchy. One of my art pieces got in a nearby art show. Congrats. Oh, congratulations. Um, fancy Rafa, my acrylic dried out and now it's impossible to use it. It isn't even a year old. Dude, oh. I got a paint by number set and the acrylic paint was dried out. Acrylic's the yeah, worst. Yeah, acrylics. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, it did work way better. Whoa, cool. Yes. Yep. Yeah, it works. All right. Well, oh, great. Donna is going to have to be very quick because I do a lot of blow drying. He does a lot of blow drying. That blow dryer was much quieter, says Nixia. That works. It worked. Yes, it was much better. Okay. Roger was silent. <laughs> I also am thinking about buying gouache, but I have no idea which company to choose. Okay. So, um, fancy Rafa, check out the U, U trick ones or old trick ones. I can't, I can't pronounce that. So, Blick, I apologize. I can't pronounce that. But, um, yeah. So try those. How late am I? I don't think you're late. We're still working on it. Um, 
Have you tried marble art? Um, I don't know if I know what that is. Is yeah, that what? like painting on a marble or? Or, yeah, what is that? Or sculpting with marble or? Do you have a favorite ACEO sized paper? I don't know those sizes. Is that like, are you looking like for like A5, A6, you know, B6? What Are you looking for the, like the international sizing? His paper that he uses is closest to an A5. The only reason I know this is because I like journals and paper. I'm supposed to be studying, but here I am. Don't get into trouble. Hi, all you guys that are joining now. Um, Lizabetta says, yeah, we have no real art stores in my neck of the woods. I pretty much have to buy my stuff online or if I'm lucky to find it at Michael's or if I'm lucky to visit a Blick in New York City. Ugh, at least you have a Blick you can go I've to. I've never been to a Blick. We want to go so bad. We've never been to one. I don't know that we would, we would probably have to have something like, we'd have to do a carb load before we went in, like bagels and tea or something. <laughs> Because you know we'd be in there for a good old long time. Um, so that's, that would be kind of cool. Let's see. Let's see. Bullying affected my mental health pretty bad. Yeah, Sarah, it does. But you know what? I think the older you get, the less you care. Yeah, you like gotta let we, that stuff go. If we cared at this point in our life, um, I mean, we're we're fifty three and fifty four, and honestly, I mean, you can't even like, I mean, all of the negative things that that people try to say, you just gotta ignore it, you know. Um, Scott would tell you that his art doesn't look perfect, but the question is, how much time did it take you to make your art look perfect like that? Oh, my art is nowhere near perfect. Uh, it, it it was a matter of letting go of trying to find perfection. Mm -hmm. And that's when I started to be able to experiment and let stuff be imperfect. I mean, if you mm -hmm. want to see ugly hands, look at that hand. Yeah, it's horrible. Um, you know, there's nothing perfect about this piece. Um, you have tried watercolor markers. Oh, Leela's mom um, sent you a tip. Oh, oh you're so thank sweet. You. And, and a little thingy that throws out a nice cup of tea. That's kind of cute. Um, let's see. Could you give some advice about starting college? It'd be very appreciated. Um, what do you? What kind of advice do you want? What kind of college? Like an art school yeah, or, or art like school a regular or just, college? Or are you so doing we've got two boys who are currently in college. It's not cheap. Right. Yeah. Um, Shredded Cucumber also sent you a tip. Oh, thank you. Can you tell me a little bit more about the Be Creative sketchbook? How is it like to work with and where I can look it up to buy one? We got ours from Blick. They're mm -hmm. a little hard to get just because they seem to always yeah. be on back order. Yeah. But I just love the um, texture of it. And it's 100% cotton. It's just... Soaks just up the watercolor. So, yeah, it's just the, your colors come out so vibrant mm -hmm. and um, it's just, it's just wonderful to work with. It's thick. So you could you could paint on both sides. Can you hear it in his voice how much he loves it? I love it, it so much. <laughs> it's just so cute how excited you are about that notebook. It cracks me up. I mean, I say the same thing about the Archer and all of notebooks. I'm like, my fountain pen writes so good on this paper. And yes, sometimes we stand in our kitchen while we're eating our scones and we geek out about paper and things like that. So, All um, right, so now, now that I'm coloring, I'm going, oh, okay. This is a gap here, so I gotta put the dress behind it. And that gap. I think this um, will not be. Let's see. <laughs> Steph Nerd says, I have a problem called Blick finding in which I have to find the nearest Blick store in the next city I'll travel to. Oh, that's, that's so fun. cute. Um, let's see. Um, um, um. It's amazing. This was one drop of this. Have you ever had any paranormal experience? Um, no. When I grew up, I thought I saw a UFO and ghosts and everything else, but um, no. I swear I saw a ghost at the St. Augustine Lighthouse. I know. I swear I did. I know. 
Oh, Lula is here and says good morning and happy March. I know. Can you believe it's March? Hello, Lula. Scott uses tubes. Yes, he uses tubes um, for his watercolor paint. Yeah. One thing that helped me through bullying, especially about my looks, was hearing someone say that every feature we have is a compilation of features our ancestors fell in love with. Oh, uh, that's so sweet. I love that. Oh, that's fantastic. I love that one. Um, anyone else get bullied in middle school and high school, but when the bullies saw you draw, they were just weirdly nice and watched you draw? <laughs> or yeah. is it just me? I think that's how you got through yeah. high school. People were always impressed with your drawing. Do you have any colored pencil tips that are useful to know? Um, honestly, uh, I mean, I, I, I had spent so many decades um, doing colored pencils. Uh, the, the best one is to just press down hard. But um, now that I'm older, I, I, I just... That's why I made a video. This is basically why I stopped using uh, colored pencils. You can you spend so much time just trying to get like a little area. You can make much better art, much faster and cheaper by switching to something like a watercolor. Um, Sarah, I do not know why people. I don't know why people say that. Um, classmates told her to end her life. So yeah, I think I did care about this. I used to care, but nowadays I'm looking. Um, yeah. I. You know, so let me tell you this for all of you kids that are out there. When people say things like that, they are nine times out of 10 miserable inside themselves and are trying to make someone else yeah. more miserable than they are and trust pity me when those I, people don't take a person no, just pity them no when they say stuff like that just look at them and go i feel so sad for you yeah that you feel pity. the need to lash out at somebody because you're miserable with yourself yeah that's pity i know but i'm saying what they can say to somebody like that all right and it's like you know just don't let them look get at, to i didn't you even use the whole drop what's your most embarrassing art story they think it's a beautiful color for the hair, by the oh, way. Oh, thank you. I'm going to try purple for the background. Really kind of knock it back, you know, but we'll see. Uh, I don't know if I have an embarrassing story. I mean... Um, I can think of an embarrassing story. Or maybe it's just a story about me being jealous. I don't know what it is. Hmm. I, you know, I... Um... <laughs> I don't think this is embarrassing, <coughs> but I got to meet Ian McKellen. We were working on Animal Crackers, and I did a painting of him as Gandalf, and I spent a long time on it, and then I flew it to London to go meet him, and the day before, I went and I found a framer, and I paid like a hundred and something dollars to have him like do a really nice frame on it really quickly, and then I got to meet him, and then um, his manager was like, oh, he's just... It's a lovely painting, but he's just not going to be able to to take it. And I had to fly mm -hmm. home with the painting. Mm -hmm. I did. I brought two paintings, and he signed the other one for my kids. And mm -hmm. he was wonderful. But that is a little embarrassing to do a painting for somebody. And and I think now that I'm you know a little older, a little wiser, it's like yeah, that is kind of presumptuous to assume that someone's going to want your art. And um, yeah. So yeah. So I guess that was kind of embarrassing. Go to art snack. Uh, atomic fireballs. Cheap alternative for Hemi gouache. I cannot afford that right now. Um, I don't really have one because every cheap gouache I have, because mm -hmm. Hemi gouache was not too expensive. Mm -hmm. I would maybe stick with watercolor for now and just use less water. Um. Okay, so. Scott's got tips in the Art Hacks playlist. You're asking for tips for young artists. Check that out. There's so much there. Um, who's better, DC or Avengers? <laughs> Wait, DC and only the Avengers, not Marvel? I, I, um, that's what they wrote. DC then. If, if you're just talking just, just one team. Um, what type of watercolor are you using? Uh, Windsor and Newton, though, what I'm currently using right now is Doc Martin's um, 
concentrated watercolors for the background. Okay. Why do you go for those? Oh, um, just because it's it's very vibrant. Like the watercolors I currently have are not very vibrant. They're see how they're just very muted. soft and muted. Mm -hmm. and, and I do that so that way, you know, I can build up colors and get skin tones and whatnot. It's it, it's it's very utilitarian. But every once in a while, I want like a pop of color, and so I have inks or I have these these. Uh, um, concentrated watercolors that I can use. The problem is, is like I said, if, if um, I can't really use them with like skin tones because they're so vibrant. Yeah. Well, unless you were making an alien or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, that would be kind of cool. Um, let's see. Um, you have inspired me to get even better at watercolor and you were the main reason why i got into gouache this year thank you so much for being so positive and kind the world needs more people like you that's oh, thank you very much yeah um let's see what brushes are you using honey i'm currently using um at your labs paint brushes mm -hmm. uh they're they're good they're they're not like life-changing or anything like that they're just currently what i have but um mm -hmm. i do need to find i don't really have a brand of what of paint brushes that i'm like super super happy with and yep we'll we uh we do have a dog her name is arwen she's upstairs being a pickle <laughs> and hopefully not burying the treat i gave her in some couch or something all right we are done with one drop Yay. Let's add another drop. Um, I'm currently coloring with colored pencils, and it's true. This is taking forever. <laughs> it does. It does. Take it from somebody oh. who was a pro, literal pro at it. Why did you want to draw? Like, what inspired you? To draw? Mm -hmm. um, I think that was just something that I grew up around, um, art, and... Um, I think it's just kind of something that came naturally. And I think as I got older, um, it was something that I was good at. And, you know, when you're good at something, people encourage you. Mm -hmm. um, but I think also looking back, I it was an escape for me. Mm -hmm. It's a little quiet escape. Yeah, because at that point in time, you didn't know about your autism. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, what are we doing here? Um, how do you deal with heartbreak? Um, we haven't had to deal with that for 35 years. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's disappointments. Yeah. But, um. I would say journaling would be great. Yeah. Exercise is good too. Oh my God. Exercise is great for that. There's a, um, God, there's a meme. It says, um, God, I'll, I'll find it. Hold on. Um, do you ever get art block? Yeah. Yeah. All the time. There's a video on how I deal with it too. Are you sure there's a video on how you deal with it? It's in the art hacks playlist. Oh, the art hacks playlist. My favorite place to go. Next to Blick. Next to Blick, yes. Blick would be my favorite place. If I could ever go there, but I've never been. I promise you, we're not sponsored by Blick or we're, anything. You know, <laughs> we're really not. They're just, they just come and hang out with us. Um, I would love to see Scott work with Clay. Yeah, I would Scott too. I would like to work with Clay. I'd like to sculpt at some point, but I, I, I would want to be able to work with somebody who would be able to say, um, work with this sculpting material and then we will take it and then we will you know make a mold of it and then you can make you know that kind of thing like i there's so much to learn um okay so i found the meme it says the cure for anything is salt water sweat tears or the sea hmm. i would agree with that wholeheartedly um how do you do the guidelines for drawing in ballpoint pen um, I don't know what that means. You could. 
if you wanted to. I mean, I did a whole illustration uh -huh. of Johnny Depp as Captain Jack Sparrow mm -hmm. in Ballpoint Pen. There's yeah. a video on that. But I mean, if you just wanted to do your outlines, I just don't know if they're going to hold up to watercolors. Um, what are some tips to improve your art? Okay, check, Maria, check the Art Hacks playlist. So many tips yeah, in the Art Hacks playlist. Yeah, just draw everything every day is yeah. my biggest tip. Yeah. Um, let's see. Do you guys have any plans on meeting Leslie? If so, could you do a challenge for me where the three of you guys try to paint or sketch each other in under a second? Okay, come on. Nobody can draw in under a second. Shh. You mean Leslie Strauss from... Um, I think, yeah, I think so. They just said Leslie, but I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, I would love to go out there and, and meet them yeah. at some point. How many hours a day do you draw? Maybe about an hour. I, you know, I mean, I, I, I go live mm -hmm. three times a week, so that's mm -hmm. 90 minutes. And, uh, and I probably will try to do another draw everything every day today mm -hmm. um, if I have the time. And then, um, yeah, but I would say maybe about an hour. What pen do you use to outline the watercolor paintings? Uh, that is a zebra brush pen. Okay, so apparently tomorrow is World Book Day. Really? And Lucy Lyon is dressing up as Hermione from Harry Potter. Oh, cool. I will put on my shirt that says Obstinate Headstrong Girl, which if you know, you know. Um, Scott is using the Canson XL paper. What kind of ink are you using? Uh, I'm using the Zebra brush pen as my mm -hmm. ink, my black ink. This is, the purple is actually watercolor. It's concentrated Doc Martin, uh, Doc Martin's concentrated water, uh, watercolors. What's your favorite self-indulgent art piece you made? Um... I would probably say maybe one of the, probably the Gandalf that I did that Ian McKellen signed. Stefner says, so tomorrow we go to the bookstore. That is correct. Um, have you tried to use a Menso brush for inking? I don't even know what that is. I don't know what that is either. Uh, if it's between gouache and acrylic, Scott likes gouache. Who is talking? Well, that's me, of course. Um, zebra brush pens are way cool. A little really does go a long way on those concentrated colors. Um, Scott's favorite movie is? Princess Pride. Your favorite book is? The Hobbit. There you go. Um, he is using Windsor and Newton watercolors. Um, what's the biggest difference between inks and watercolors? Um, I mean, they're just different mediums, but if you were just look at it... Um, from just a working perspective, uh, I would say uh, inks are much more opaque and watercolors are much more transparent. Mm -hmm. Your process is so soothing. Oh, thank you. Okay, best colored pencils, which are not too cheap, but not too expensive. Um, I'd probably say the Blick brand then. Least favorite thing to sketch and paint. Hands and feet. Is your YouTube channel your only job or do you have any side jobs? I have side jobs. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, technically you could say YouTube is my side job. Mm -hmm. I can't believe they don't know who you are, Donna. You're so funny, Tom. That's funny. Uh, I am Donna and I am Scott's wife. And somebody asked a while back what my job was. I do all of the business side for Scott. So invoices and shipping art and um, you name it. And she's also the producer of the film too. Yeah. And future <laughs> films. Yep. Yep. You name it. I do it. Jack of all, well, Jill of all trades, master of none. Um, wait, so this is ink watercolor or watercolor ink? What I'm currently using is is watercolor. It is concentrated watercolor. It comes in liquid form. How do you feel about today's way of doing art compared to before? Before as in like decades ago. Um, I think today's way of art is good. Um, you know, like digital art. 
is fantastic. It's a it's a wonderful uh, medium, um, and the and the 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 work that people can do is amazing. Um, I think younger artists are so uh, I don't want to say triggered, but uh, so worried about people who you know take a photograph and then uh, just apply a filter to it in you know digitally that they look for quote unquote cheating and everything and so I think that has become uh, a thing among younger artists is they're constantly looking for people who are cheating with digital art okay Scott has made um, digital art content you can check that out in products we've reviewed he's done some of that um, I can't even quantify how many art supplies Scott has, or like somebody asked if we were to sell all your art supplies, how much money would we made? I, I can't, you guys, I can't. How many art supplies are worth anything once you've used them? Yeah, I mean, what materials would you use if you had to give up watercolor? Paper and pencil. He's never tried the Brewstro brand, and I know that because that's on my list of things to acquire. All right, let's see. Uh, blow dryer. Oh, you want to hit the oh, mute? Yeah, hold on. Let me mute. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay, so let me turn your audio back on. There we go. Um, thank you, Anne Marie. Love you too. Um, do you prefer acrylic markers or alcohol markers? Uh, I think alcohol markers. Uh, it is ten thirty-four a.m. Which means we gotta finish up. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Ten thirty-four. People love to ask this. If you had only one art supply to use for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh, what I'm using right now. Yeah. Okay, so they asked what my job was, and Maxwell writes, Donna's job is being the goat. Um, I love you, Maxwell. <laughs> You're sweet. Um, favorite board game? Um... Hard one. Risk. Really? Mm. Hmm. All right. So here's what's going to happen. Um, I, I can't do another two hour live. So I'm going to probably add another layer, a darker layer. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to do uh, the the stencil and fill it in maybe with like a Payne's gray. So I think the background needs to go darker. And then I will do the outlines and then maybe like a, a, a white outline and then I will call it done. But... Um, okay, so do you want to be done now? I, well, yeah, I think, I think we should... Do that offline? Yeah, I'll, I'll have to do that offline and I'll make a video of it okay. and then I'll hopefully post it later on today. Okay. But... Um, yeah, this was... There's a small white patch sun. not painted near the shoulder. Small white patch not painted near the shoulder. I, I don't know. I, I can't see very well with my thing that I'm doing here. I'm not seeing it. Do you have any videos on tips for beginners? Um, yeah, the Art Hacks playlist. Mm -hmm. Tips for hyper-realism. No, mm -mm. no. Take a photo. It's quicker. Yeah. What's your favorite fruit? Watermelon. Favorite type of eraser? Needed eraser. Best watercolors, not too cheap, not too expensive. Uh, um, Cotton brand of, of uh, Windsor & Newton. Mm. Mm. 
They like the color combinations. Thank you. Uh, Donna doesn't do anything horror related, so you're going to be waiting a long time. What supplies do you like the most? I like my watercolors. Uh, have you ever drawn Tom Bombadil? No, I never I never understood that character. That's that's probably Tom Bombadil would stop me from reading The Lord of the Rings. Um, let's see. They say the blow dryer sounds so gentle with the thing off. That's great news. I love hearing that. I'm glad we did something new. Uh, favorite song, honey? Uh, Future Love Paradise by Seal. Who is your favorite Hobbit funny character or best developed character? Um, I don't know of any funny characters in The Hobbit that, that really got me. Um, but no, Bilbo was always my favorite character. Other than your current art style, what other art styles do you like to draw? Comic book style. Um, and yeah. What's your favorite book? The Hobbit. Do you think AI art is going to be a threat for the concept artist and the pre-production team in animation? No, not not professionally, no. Mm -hmm. um, it, all, all that's going to happen is AI art will be used by executives who have no talent and, and you know need to create something to sell a movie or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be used in production ever. You know, yeah. it, it, I mean... And not, also, not in the a real copyright, production. you said the U.S. Copyright Office just said AI art is not copyrightable. Yeah, yeah, it can't be copyrighted because mm -hmm. it's not created by a human. Mm -hmm. um, watching you paint is just what I needed after a few hard days. Your art is amazing. Oh, well, I hope your days get better. Um, and do... I am done, dear. I'm just noodling while you read the last little things. But... Oh, okay. All right. Um, so Friday, we will be here. Yes. And I will be doing a little Fart Around Friday takeover with journaling. Bring your questions. And Scott's will be, there will be no blow dryer. No, no blow, no blow dryer on Friday. Um, but uh, Scott will be reading the questions. So that's exciting. Yeah. And um, so I'm going to go over. Um, no, Scott doesn't do anything and paint anything horror. So we're going to. We're going to say goodbye and thanks for being here. And we will see you guys for Farter on Friday. Bye, everybody. Have Bye, a great guys. day. Thanks so much.